Lil yeah. Wayne oh, yeah. came out. I didn't like that. And he finally spoke on not being chosen for the Super Bowl. Now, everybody was jumping out there for Wayne, going crazy on Jay-Z, just losing their mind because Kendrick Lamar was chosen to headline the 2025 Super Bowl. And we didn't hear from Wayne. We heard from Baby. We heard from Nikki. We heard from everybody in the industry except Wayne. Now, Wayne makes a statement, comes out. He damn near crying. He said this crushed him. Um, he don't even know where he got the idea that it belonged to him, but he kind of anointed himself to have been chosen for the Super Bowl for whatever reason, because there's already been 11 Super Bowls in New Orleans. Nobody cared about Wayne then. But for some reason, Kendrick gets chosen. Wayne goes on this rant about how it, it destroyed him and the fans kept him up. The thing I didn't like, not one time did he shout out Kendrick. No. He just made it about him because I was actually advocating for Kendrick to bring Wayne out. But after I seen that shit... Don't bring that nigga nope. out, bro. Because that nigga nope. didn't shout you out. Nothing. He took the whole... <laughs> and they got songs together. He, There's no... He took the whole... Uh, 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 um, he took the whole attention off of Kendrick and made it about himself, which I thought was very selfish. What would have been more player was like, damn, you know, it's my hometown. I would have loved to do it. It crushed me. The fans kept me up. But shout out to Kendrick. He's doing great things. He going to kill it. Blah, blah, blah. Shout out to Kendrick. Do your thing, bro. That would have been more... Respectable to me, but I just see, sitting there I, for five minutes crying about how you didn't get chosen was crazy. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that either. Like Wayne is my boy, you know what I mean? Nigga grew up on Wayne. Nigga fuck with Wayne, and Wayne is usually more authentic, I believe, in most of his interviews, and he's usually a positive person. So to see that come out of him, like you said, not saluting him or whatever the case is, and being super upset about it, like. Kendrick didn't have shit to do with that. And he even said on that, what was that show with him and YG was on? And they was asking yeah. him about the Super Bowl right, a couple of years about, yeah. back. And he wasn't feeling entitled then. He said, yeah, I would love to do it, but I haven't got a phone call. I haven't got nothing. So to now come up with an entitlement that you would do it, I just feel like somebody put a battery in his back and told him, like, man, this is the way we need to start orchestrating this to get you up on there. People are already rallying around you. Now you need to speak for yourself type shit. Well, I think Rock Nation probably gassed him up because him and Jay-Z are boys. You know, Rock Nation now got the little halftime uh, situation with Roger Goodell where they can pick and choose. They've been running the halftime show these lately, these last well, few years. Well, why would Rock Nation gas up Lil Wayne when they chose well, Kendrick? He probably thought he felt entitled. But at the end of the day, Kendrick got the hottest year. And now, for me, I feel more proud to be for the West because, yeah, nigga, we hosting the, you hosting the Super Bowl, but, nigga, we in your hometown, so we still hotter. We in the West coming to New Orleans, and we hotter than you in your own hometown. That's making you more powerful for being... From the West Coast, homie. Like, but, I mean, I got love for Wayne, I, but for him crying, that low key was some ho shit. Nah, nah that but was, yeah, that was I just look at it. Good. I look at it back to go like it's like the same shit. We see the same cycles, like you always say. The art, the black artist hating on another black artist, yeah. or whatever the case it may be. But niggas is not mad at the higher powers behind that. that you know part, what I'm saying? They, 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 listen, yeah. Kendrick. Listen, I'm gonna tell everybody who even entertaining the Lil Wayne stupidity. Yes, I would like to see Boosie on stage. Webby. Performing Swerve. I want to see Webby performing. Is it my car? Is it my look? Yes, I'm a fan. Uh, Lil Fox, all of them, Fox or whatever. I'm a fan trill of fan, Southern the music. Whole trill fan, but yeah. not like us is on every TikTok, every YouTube, every Facebook, Instagram. I see Japanese motherfuckers <laughs> crip walking to not like us, like. That was an international sensation. Mm -hmm. And it, just shut the fuck up because Man. there's nothing Lil Wayne has ever had that was even close to comparing to the steam that that shit got right now. Rap is a meritocracy. I love Sheik Luch. I love Styles P. But what have they done for me lately? That is hip-hop music. Even Taylor Swift couldn't generate a bigger buzz than that Kendrick shit right now. So the NFL did what was best for music. Um, I, I picture two executives like, bro, we should bring Wayne out. Then another one like, but damn, Kendrick had a hot Man. year. I see that happening. If they could have brought them both out together, yes. But let's be honest. Little Wayne can't carry no show. He looked a mess in his last few performances. You can bring out Webby. You can bring out Boosie. You can bring them all out. He can bring out the Hot Boys. You can bring out whoever you want to. But at all those people combined cannot generate the same buzz at this point as not like us. And you're either going to decide, do I want a local black audience who knows these niggas, or do I want an international audience 
try, turning their attention on America, on Louisiana for one, one, 30 minutes, right, out of the year, saying, guys, Lil, uh, 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 Kendrick Lamar is about to perform not like us at the Super Bowl halftime show. NFL is about promotion and bringing in new fans. That's what they're trying to do. That's what that's going to do. Even, hey. even, even on top of that, go back to what we already said before, it's bigger than just look. We looking at it from a standpoint of how many hits Wayne got, how many things we know he could perform, but people are still imagining the Waynes that they grew up with, yeah. from Waynes from the Carter two, from the Waynes from the Carter three, from Hot the the too. Drought three, or whatever certain Waynes that you dealt when he had the long dreads. You're still remembering that Wayne. People are not seeing him not come to these performances or mm -hmm. showing up late, not not doing a lot of things that they need you to do and taking a chance on that. So I think it's a bigger picture when it comes to why Kendrick. And Kendrick's performances, if you have not seen his shit, is really an entertainment. Cub comes out with all type of different shit, not just getting on the mic and rapping. He has a whole, like, a Production. orchestra. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, you see a whole thing going on when he's performing with yeah. the with the dancers, the coming out of boxes, whatever the fuck he be doing. But Cub got a lot going on, man. And the energy be wild from his shows. Here's the key point everybody's missing. This isn't even on Jay because Jay didn't decide he didn't it. decide So y'all got all this smoke for Jay. He didn't decide it. The actual hosting city decided it. Right. So New Orleans themselves decided on Kendrick. So why y'all jumping out the window at Jay? This is the problem I got with niggas is when something go wrong that niggas don't like, niggas look for the first nigga to blame or the first nigga to step on. So nobody looked at who was over Jay. Nobody has smoke for Roger Goodell. Everybody said, fuck Jay. Bro, Jay is just a partner. Rock Nation is just partnering. But overall, the NFL got the overall say-so. They're advising. And, and it ain't nobody black at the top of that. But y'all didn't have no smoke for none of them. All y'all had smoke was, was Jay. When, let's be real, if it wasn't for Jay, there would be no rappers to even choose Man, from. Come on. So it really don't fucking matter who performed. Y'all wouldn't have been happy because whoever's a fan of somebody else would have said, damn, why such and such wasn't up there? If we chose Wayne and Wayne wouldn't perform solo, damn, why Wayne didn't bring Juvia out? Why Wayne didn't bring Turk out? Yeah. It would have been something for you niggas to complain about because that's all you niggas love to I do think, is complain. I think Shut that, the fuck up. Be happy we got somebody black thank you. hosting solo the Super Bowl halftime show. And this is going to be the <laughs> biggest halftime show in Super Bowl history. Mark my words bigger on that. Than the, bigger than the he think, he think bigger than Mike Jack? Listen, yeah. I'm calling oh, it now. Forgot about Mike. I'm <laughs> calling it now. It's going to be bigger than the Rams. It's going to be bigger than Janet when she had the nip slip. The views and the eyes bigger on than Mike, though? He said it's Mike It's not Jackson. bigger than Mike. Yeah. Listen, I got to look at the numbers on Mike. Mike this might break the record. Mike. Hey, Mike. Hold on. What's the views on Mike? Look it up. What's the views? Because the views on this... I'm just saying, for everybody Ooh, to hard, see this, to see done. this not like us, bro, it's going to be up there with Mike. Uh, yeah, but... It's going to be up... <laughs> going to be up there. That's a hard bet. Hey, if you, if you win that one, nigga, hey, all salute to you on that one. But I'm saying, I'm telling Mike, you. Mike, I'm going to tell you this, man. I was I was so happy for the uh, the Rams Super Bowl when... uh Well, I, hey, fuck the Rams, even though they won. But that, 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 that Super Bowl halftime, to me, was like... I think that's what set the tone for allowing rappers to kind of come out there. You know what I'm saying? How Dre and Snoop and 50 and Eminem all killed it. You know, I think that opened the door for now letting the NFL to allow rap to be in 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 their stadium. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Not just for the music to be playing now. Or right, we'll allow y'all to come on the biggest stage. So salute to that. And I hate the fact that, like you just said, bro, we hate on each other, man. And we got love for the South. Me and us for the West, bro. As we talked about this on the radio, we play everybody else shit besides our own shit. I wish we get that same love, man, when we go to other people's town. But I'm glad that Kendrick's the biggest star in New Orleans, man. I just look at it, too, though. I ain't, I ain't going to lie, though. I be thinking, like, niggas be taking this shit too serious. Yeah, like Sometimes I don't even give a fuck about them Super Bowl performances. Niggas, half the niggas do not be watching that well, shit anywhere. Well, people care about yeah, it. They no, they the don't. I'm, I'm just saying, niggas be fucking faded watching the Super Bowl. Ain't even paying attention to them damn halftime well, the shows like that. the first time I ever that. watched the halftime was that Snoop. That was the first time I ever, like, sat and really okay, watched Okay, look. Mike had... Uh, 133.4 million viewers in the United States. He had 1.3 billion viewers worldwide. That's <laughs> what, a lot. That's what, a what, lot what, year, what year was that? that was like that's on 90, TV that was, screens. That was like that's, that's before people even that's had That's what I mean phones. before the technology, so, yeah. This is why I say 
Kendrick just might break this record. It's, in the U.S., I think he can get more than 130-something. Yeah, they, you they're not going to count, they just not gonna count see, cell phone views. They're going to count TV. Just to see not like us. Come on, bro. The world's tuning in. I, I just felt like... Michael Jackson should be yeah, Mike, yeah. I mean, Michael Jackson had the same Mike technology. Not Mike would have killed it, man. Oh, no, no. Mike is killing anybody yeah. on Earth. It's There's different. people on Earth that don't know who Kendrick Lamar is. There's no one on Earth who didn't know who Michael Jackson was. There was Jackson an indigenous was tribe with no modern technology who knew who Mike was. Right. He was dancing with them. Move up, move up. Like, they know, nigga. Man, that, man. Michael Jackson, freaky, freaky with Shout out to boys, Kendrick. Hey, Wayne, right. that wasn't a good look, gang. Nah. You need to come back out and... Shout out Kendrick because that that was nasty. I ain't gonna lie, that was that was nasty. Work. What you was about to talk? Bring, about? Boosie, bring Boosie out to uh, to perform Swerve on him. What you had to talk about? Uh, 